already started getting confusion all decked out for the announcement party. You excited? Uh, excited, nervous, scared crazy. I've got a lot riding on this perfume, like my entire stock portfolio. Yeah. I'm kind of nervous too, actually. It's my first big company party. I hope I do okay. Just make the rounds, introduce yourself as the new Fusion team member, pump up Bella to everyone you meet, smile, and be your gorgeous self. Don't you think you're rushing things, uh, throwing a party for this new idea already? It's just a presser, a teaser to announce Bella. No focus groups, no research, no input from anyone but yourselves on this little dime store perfume, and you're already holding a presser to announce the name? Yeah. This is going to be an expensive lesson for you. Oh, and uh, make sure tonight's rental charges for confusion go on the Bella expense account. Of course. You are coming, aren't you? Of course, I wouldn't miss it. This may be your multi-million dollar crapshoot, but it's still my company. Sucks the oxygen right out of the room, doesn't she? Ryan? Hi! What a surprise. It's wonderful to see you. I haven't seen you in such a long time. Uh, hi, Erica. How are you? Oh, I'm... I'm fine good hey what happened to you are you all right oh this yeah and nah, i it looks worse than it feels okay is the rest of you all right yeah um i just uh i guess i came out here to try and remind myself what's supposed to be important in life you know? it's funny that's why i came out here too so, you want to uh, save me some sunscreen and fill me in? <laughs> Man, do I wish I could. Really, I've been out here for the better part of an hour, and I think all I've gotten is a little bit more sand in my shoes. Well, see, there was your first mistake. You're supposed to go barefoot. <laughs> Pretty girl. Huh? You're Carmen, right? Yeah. Yeah, Annie. Babe told me to expect you. Come in, come in. Come in. Hey. hey. Wish you would have called me last night. Oh, it was kind of a spur of the moment. We spent last night in a hotel. Well, you know what? We've got plenty of rooms here, and little Adam is very excited that you're going to be visiting. Are you sure this is all right? Absolutely. Like Babe said, we have lots of rooms. Do you want to go visit little Adam? He's having breakfast, and we made blueberry muffins. Mmm. Oh, I bet we have more than a few left. Go ahead, go ahead, for a minute. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Oh, what are you doing here? Annie and Emma are going to be our guests for a few days. What? Don't be a jerk. Look, I'll take your bags upstairs for you. Right Ryan and I, um, I moved out last night, and Babe and Jr. were kind enough to let us stay here until I figure out what to do next. Listen, you take all the time you need, okay? You're among friends here. Isn't that right, Adam? <laughs> Call you later, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you all. Did you even make a half-hearted attempt to dissuade Babe from turning my home into Hotel Chandler again? Oh, come on, Dad. Annie's kid is almost little A's age, and her husband just told her he doesn't love her anymore. Why don't you cut her some slack? Her huh? brother her brother kidnapped you, stole your bone marrow, and gave you a healthy dose of hepatitis. Yeah, and her brother's dead. Yes. Giving me more headaches than I care to count. Well, she'll be out of your hair in just a few days. Um, what, uh, what dirt do you have on, uh, Fusion Green? Well, it's a dry well so far. I'm supposed to be getting a call from my PI today, but if he can't come up with anything, I just might have another way that we can get what we want. Well, good. It's always good to have an option. Well, it's a pretty good turnout for a last-minute event. Of course it is. It's Fusion. 
Just don't embarrass us by disappointing them. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. Minor crisis at home. Kendall? Well, if it isn't Miss Bella herself. I was just telling Amanda I hope you have all of your bases covered. Holding a press party for a half-baked idea is pretty reckless. Could end up giving our company a black eye. I think we've done a hell of a job in a short amount of time. Or SVPs? About 90%. The presentation is ready to go. All we need to do is drop in the photo. Perfect. Where's Miss? I quit my job and now I want it back. She's dealing with more important things today. She left Ryan last night. She and Emma are going to be staying at the mansion until she can figure out what to do. Are you still in love with Annie? Honestly, I don't know if I ever really was. What about the pregnancy? I think, um, I think that was just Annie's way of trying to keep things afloat. You know, I, I didn't actually know that I could still have kids, and Annie found out that I could and didn't tell me about it. Look, don't misunderstand me. I'm not condoning what she did, but I can somewhat understand where she's coming from. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, I know, I know what you mean. It's been very tough on her lately with everything that's been going on, me losing my memory, her losing Julia, her brother messing with her head, and, of course, him being murdered. Ryan, so many men would be furious. It's just when she walked out with Emma, you know, it killed me. It really killed me, my little girl, you know? It's bad enough that I, I wasn't there for Emma most of her life, and she finally accepted me as her father, and now all of a sudden I'm going to be gone again. You know, I'm not going to be living with her, and I just... I don't know how I'm going to explain that to her. You will. You will, Ryan. You will find the right words. I know you will. I mean, honestly, I've known a lot of men, Ryan. And... Very, very few can come even close to you. I wouldn't be surprised if Annie decided to leave Pine Valley altogether. Why would she do that? Well, I, I made life really complicated for her. Um, it, it wasn't just the fact that I'm not in love with her anymore that made her move out. You're not still in love with Greenland, are you?